enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah, uh, wow. Patrice just did some great radio for us. <laughs> Four, <laughs> one, two, three. Five people, Patrice. For the, uh, for I the was staff. cursing up a storm. I couldn't even figure out. I wanted to save it, but it was oh like my too God. much cursing. Patrice, yeah. Learn from me. All right. I'm going to shut go, up. Patrice will go off on this unbelievable great rant, and I'm like, Dude, just save just it for save the radio. It. And I never listen. We, uh, we're we saving it from now on. And then yeah. we have to try to do, like, take two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make it sound right. Oh, Recreate the magic. I was saying this, but uh, it's not important. <laughs> I think because we created an environment around here where it's a hang, where, like, oh, yeah, that's right. We're actually doing this for people. <laughs> yeah. I figured you'd just come back. No, we're it's talking about. natural just to sit there and. I know. Don't, I know. don't talk. Don't talk. Don't, don't talk. Don't talk. Okay, don't look talk. at each other. No, uh, actually, you saved some of it. Uh, we were talking about the sexual harassment uh, suit against Madison Square Garden and, I- and Isaiah Thomas, and mm-hmm. and she was awarded uh, eleven and a half million dollars. Half mil. And uh, <laughs> based on what? That's what. Oh, and, what? And, and and I talked about this, and when it was going down, and we realized it was eleven and a half million. I, stupid me, I'm thinking, wow, some horrific things must have been uh, done to this woman. Actual rape victims don't get money like that. That's, no, but Patrice. No. When I heard it was eleven and a half million, I'm thinking that some kind of you know uh, uh, was going on. Of course, on. Some kind of. Uh, uh. You're right. And maybe the you know the bad one. Uh, uh. It wasn't the bad one. It was just it was just it was just set up. It was like just if, dumb yeah. little words. You, let me tell you something. Harassment evolves like anything. Like liquor, <laughs> you don't yep. start off going, "Hey, this, I'm gonna put my face right there." Good morning, <laughs> girl. I just met. Here's what I where I'm gonna bite, and here's what I'm gonna touch. <laughs> It it starts off with hey what's happening baby how you feeling you know good to meet you and it ha- oh you look good today maybe a month later you're looking mm-hmm. good guys restrain this is the thing that pisses me off about ladies right now you don't I'm driving up the street you know in my giant truck mm-hmm. and you know some lady some Puerto Rican girl cuts me off and gives me that man look of what you gonna do that protective. And the only thing that protects her is my restraint. That, <laughs> that's why you exist, is that I don't take my truck and do a police cutoff, <laughs> Get out of the punch car, through your window maneuver. like the Terminator, <laughs> and drag you around the street and say to myself, here's my thing. I have to argue with myself. Am I going to go to jail for throwing this woman through a window, or am I, I'm, am I going to just do nothing like I'm going to do? Right. You and understand she, what I'm saying? And she knows that. And she knows, and the, she knows that. And she knows the odds are in her favor that... That uh, you ain't getting out of that car. And she can't say, sir, thank you. I didn't cut you off. Uh, it, it wasn't personal. I just did what I was going to do to anybody. Right. And I understand you're six four, three hundred pounds, and I'm just just little Puerto Rican girl, and you could kill me. <laughs> and I appreciate you restraining your actual madness and, and allowing me to exist on this earth. Instead of giving you the, the entitled face. And that face of you. <laughs> and that's what happens when you go to work. It's unfair. You know, here's what, what you start doing if you, if, you, if you own a company. Make women come dressed as a Teletubby. No sexuality. <laughs> you don't know it's a woman except for the fact that she's under a Teletubby costume. Where I'm not forced to have to. And I say this on dude. is like. Uh, oh, here's the latest one. No! Oh my no! God! Did you see her? Oh my! Who the hell sexually harassed her? She's the latest one now that's uh, suing. And could I say it because I don't want you guys to get in oh, trouble? Oh, go ahead. go ahead. She is a mess. A mess. <laughs> she looks like a mixture between Florida from Good Times <laughs> and James from Good Times. <laughs> Nobody's harassing her. And you know what? James, I was sexually <laughs> harassed today <laughs> down at work. The boss pinched my ass. What happened, baby? Yeah. I was sexually harassed, James. She should be happy that she's harassable. JJ, I was sexually harassed. What happened, mama? Well, I was just walking around the office and someone said hi. (laughs) That ain't sexual harassment. James, yes it is. (laughs) <laughs> like anyone would sexually harass Florida. It, it, she <laughs> said it looked like I had wheelbarrow inner tubes around my neck. <laughs> she was a mess. Like, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> She's a mess. Be real. Yeah. Be real. No oh. one harassed you. Wow. So it has I to stop. Her harass me, Jane. <laughs> Well, she said she did it for all women, but uh, and I argue oh. the point that that's just going to make a lot of bosses out there hire less women. 
I'm I'm not hiring. Let me. We we refuse to work with a woman on this radio show, and a lot of uh, and I know a lot of the faithful listeners have heard this, but uh, we'll say it again. A lot of consultants say, you know, you should hire a woman. It'll balance out some things. You'll you know, it'll it'll protect you from certain uh, yeah. certain special interest groups and this and that. It'll be a nice balance to the radio show. I'm like, screw that. Hire a tough gay guy if you want that effect. Right. <laughs> a gay guy who can fight and and, and can defend himself against harassment. <laughs> harassment. You know what? Having women and men work together in certain situations, it's like, and I say, it's like having a grizzly bear work with salmon dipped in honey. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the salmon walks in and goes, hi, grizzly bear. And you're like, Rrr. And then every day she's coming in with, and then she gets comfortable with you. She mm-hmm. talks to you. She even talks to you about what's what her problems are that day. She talks to you about what she's going through. Right. She gives you a little bit of a, a of a vibe that you don't a know about. Vibe. It should be one day a year. It should be sexual harassment day. <laughs> it should be a day just to blow off all that steam. You know, where you go? How about instead of casual Fridays? It's sexual. It's harassment sexual harassment Fridays. day one day because you you work with women that you go God I. I bet you she's a whore. I bet you she would do something in the broom closet with me. And you just get one day to ask. Just to ask, would you? Well, and here's something that's really, really important. Yeah. Cleavage is a turn-on, not a fashion statement. Right. It's a sexual thing. They get to... Women, women can live their sexuality. Right. Women walk around with their cleavage show yes. and thinking it's a fashion statement. And, and no. You, it's still a, a major turn-on to I guys. Would co- I would come in to the office and, and uh, be giving a memo, uh, and he would be staring at my breasts. Well, can I tell you how... Well, look at what you... We've we got them hanging out. We're, we're barely removed from being cavemen. Yeah. Can I can I If you really you look at girlfriend? time and... I mean, can I tell you how my I got to tell you how my girlfriend got me to sleep. She was she, we hung around with, to, with each other a long time mm-hmm. before we did anything, and she finally was getting frustrated that I wasn't doing anything. So long story short, how she got me to sleep with her? She went upstairs. She invited me up. She went to take a shower, wore, wore a t shirt, went in front of the TV to pick something up, and and the t shirt went up, and I saw everything. All of a sudden, it becomes like an X ray. So I'm like, I'm like. Okay, I, she wants me to, because I saw everything. And I'm sitting there going, this is the freedom they have to assault us like this. <laughs> Where if I bent over and all my balls was just swinging, <laughs> and, my, and, my, and the other thing was showing, right. I'd get, I, that, if that was my way of getting some, we'd be killed. Yeah, of I'd be course. arrested. Yep. But they get to freely do what they do, and at the same time, we have to restrain. That's what I'm saying. The the movement is due to my letting you. Mm-hmm. It is. We restrain ourselves, and they hey, give us no credit for that. I'm being reminded. Yeah. Uh, reminded, Patrice, uh, you were telling us how sexual harassment uh, gets started at the workplace. You didn't really fully go with that. Oh, it, it, but it's, it starts with a little. It start. It doesn't go. It, you don't start off by going. In, hey, if you a girl, I'm go. Oh boy, look at your blonde locks. I like to grab them and shove your head in. In. in, in right, 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 right. It starts off with, "Hey, how are you? And, hey, how you doing? Hey, good to see you." Yeah, you and never then, go right to Z. You don't. You go gotta to start Z. at A. There's a level you get to when you just go. And then here's the thing. Here's how it starts. She always. Ups it a notch. It's playing along. With the, I see it happening here with little, uh, what's her name? Doing the little in between breaks. Good job, booby dooby dooby. <laughs> rubbing your, rubbing shoulders. And you want my, one of my great massages? Oh, that feels great. Can I get one of you? Sure. And you, and, and you're careful at first. And then she goes, oh. God, that that feels good. That's my spotty. <laughs> this is this is three months in. You know what I mean? Then the six month in is she give me one of those massages, and then it gets a little more sensual, and she's just uh, ooh, and you're sitting there fighting your madness to first grab her around the top of her neck and go, you like that, huh? And then <laughs> <laughs> the second is to stop it from rising. You know what I mean? Because it's getting there. So then the, the ninth month comes in, okay? She gives you yours, you give her hers. She's sitting on your lap, and that hotness in that area is just, you feel some energy. Then one day you go, okay. All right, I guess she wants it. Okay. Or I'm going to try this now. Time I'm, to make the move. And then Time you realize. Time to make the move. You don't know the rules that she was only going to go this far. I bet. Ready? Here it is. I bet you. Man, I bet you those look. They look. Are those real? 
Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what What did you just say? Uh, did you ask me if my breasts were real? Well, <laughs> I, but the, I, I, and you're up to calling each other nicknames by now. Right. He, you know, Isaiah will probably calling that lady, hey, Big Draws. She calls big him, draws. what's up, my little point guard from the 80s? <laughs> I you bet you're swinging like one of them 80s ones, ain't it? Big Draws, bitch. Hey, it was probably like big a, draws, a, bitch. a term of endearment. I think, BDB. I think yeah. Isaiah is more pissed off that his friends are thinking that he thought this broad was hot. Yeah, was was actually harassable. When he's, when he's on the golf course with his buddies, he's like probably going, doesn't this bitch know what I get on I the side? Touch he her. messed up. The, you do you realize that's why they have women like that around? Those got those are the sexual harasser. They're the harassees. Yep. You gotta be able to just say it to somebody. Mm -hmm. You gotta get that steam off. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's going to happen. Women going to wonder why no one's hiring them. And you can't prove it's, 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 you can't make a person hire you. The only thing right. you could do is once you're hired, you pull this stuff. But you, a guy could go, you're not qualified. She said she did it for all the women oh, that have to go to work in the oh. morning and want a, a job. She screwed over so many women Absolutely. by doing this. Less women will be hired because of this. What Frivolous. guy? Absolutely. What guy is now going to want to go through that crap yeah. uh, when he has to fire a woman? Uh, and she's just going to go into court and go, oh, this one said this. You this got bosses all over America going, $11.5 million for what? For a few words? What? If you yeah. look at the news now, whatever this girl is, it's just a little bit a little bit of meat, a little bit of breast meat. Right. Is That's sexuality, man. And it's like for me to just not say something, you're being unfair. Oh, we should be able to have to come to work. Yes. Yeah. If that guy has a tie, he probably has a nice chest. I don't walk around with some of my nipple like, out or right. You, you, well, Fabio shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. We we would all have to be electric shocked to all of a sudden think that cleavage, like I said earlier, is a fashion statement and not a turn on. Mm -hmm. it, because it's just the meat. Men have a. All we have we're to all, do is visual. look at one thing and create the rest. Create. Right. When I see a girl that still has, you don't see it much anymore. But if I catch a glimpse of two things. Woman like plumber, booty, cleavage. If I catch a girl with just that bit of the butt crack showing, you know how to. She bends down to pick up a little you dog. You can or fill in the all the blanks and make an image of her ass in your yeah, head. I created it already. And yeah. then some women, I don't know if white women have it, but black girls have it still sometimes. There's a hairline mm -hmm. from the belly button down to the thing. Right. To the thing. To the thing. All right. And it just, it's, it's just like, ooh. Oh, now I just created your entire bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got a woman on the line here from Colorado, Kristen. Kristen, what's up? Hey, fellas. Love you, Patrice. Thank nice you. to have you back on the air. This Thank is you. not sexual harassment. This is foreplay. Let's call it what it is. For, for play how like what what uh, Isaiah was possibly saying to her? Oh, like like I they. I just don't believe in sexual harassment at mm -hmm. foreplay. Boys and girls, men and women play that game. Yeah, there's always that sexual tension at work. Uh, so what when protects you're... us from you? Like, like here's the thing. What's fair is that I think the fact that a a dude who would jump out of a bush and grab a woman and and take her humanity. Yeah. The fact that women can't do that, it may be that this is ultimate justice because they can't just do that to to a man. Right. Like generally, can't come out and give me give me some, and he's just crying. Please don't. Make yeah, me yeah. Do well, this that's to great. you. And it, right, but that's what I'm saying. You can't, like, rape us for the most part. So I think that this is a way of kind of making it fair that false accusations can be put on men, and that's the almost, I don't, it's not as bad, but it's just if you go to jail for the rest of your life mm -hmm. for something you didn't do or you lose your job and you have that stigma, that is as bad to a man as actual rapist to a woman, I would imagine. I, I, and, I, and I'm not comparing it. I'm yeah. just only saying how you would feel. I remember when this uh, sexual harassment thing really started getting some legs, uh, and it was all about the fact that bosses were intimidating women uh, through some kind of sexual behavior uh, and using that to give them promotions 
and raises. Come on in here. I'll tell you, you, you want the promotion? You're going to have to earn it. Out of 10 and, jobs. And, that, and, and that's like the type of thing that was sexual harassment. This uh, little playful crap around the office or having a nude or semi-nude picture pinned up in your cubicle that she sees when she passes by, that isn't sexual harassment. Absolutely. That's called life on the job and deal with it. For, for crying out loud, women, get over it. All right, Kristen, thank you. Hey, later. All right, peace. Let's say hi to uh, Momo. <laughs> Momo! Hey, Jamal, how are you doing this morning? Pretty good, Momo. Hey, uh, the reason that, uh, that the whole sexual, first of all, there's two, there's two types of sexual harassment. The first type that Ann was referring to is called the quid pro quo. This for that. You want a, you want a promotion, you got to sleep with me. That is wrong. That's, 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 you know, that's definitely wrong. But the, the sexual harassment we're talking about with the Isaiah Thomas thing, that whole playful banter, that has been in the workplace for years with men. It's all part of the competitiveness that men have with each other. And it's actually, I got an article that I can, I can send off to Steve if you like, that it's in a psychologist magazine. It, it talks about that the reason we do that with women is because we're treating them as equals. It's, it's a you know, a in, politically incorrect thing to say, but the fact of the matter is, is that that's why that men do it. It's not because we're sexual or uh, chauvinists or we're you know trying to demean them we're just treating them like we would treat any other guy i don't see that's that i have a it's the syndrome of these women teachers going to jail for sleeping with young teenage boys and and men aren't outraged at all like no guy goes she should go to jail like that hot teacher that sleeps with a 14 year old boy we go what a that 14 year old boy must got a big rap he must know how to talk to women (laughs) or uh, or we all think where was she when we were growing up exactly we We don't don't, that's the only thought in our head i don't think we're thinking as equal if i'm harassing a chick at the workplace it's it's sexual but you want her to want you that's the thing nobody wants to make a woman feel uncomfortable you want her to go ooh, you know look at it is a kangaroo, a kangaroo on a on a race track. I, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Patrice, but do you guys do you guys get what I'm trying to say? She's oh, because, brother. hold on, we're so distracted. The video He's causing of the day crashes is a, a kangaroo during a motor uh, a motor sport race or whatever. They're all laughing. Yeah. Uh, anything else, Momo? I'm sorry. No, that's it, guys. I just wanted to put that in, my, put my two cents in. No, it's it's an interesting point you bring to the uh, discussion. Thank you, Momo. I guess. Hey, you know, we are experts at this. We, I see we have a woman standing by. She's going to tell us that she was sexually harassed at work. All right. We'll be the judges. All right. To all the women out there, give us a call. 877-212-ONA. Uh, tell us what happened at work, and we'll tell you if it was, you know, truly sexual harassment or not. We don't think the Isaiah Thomas stuff is anywhere near, <clears throat> especially for eleven and a half million. Even from her, when I was like, I said, her when, story. Like when I was reading that, when I was reading about, it, I'm like, wow, oh, man, she must have been, you know. Thrown on a, a pinball machine or something. <laughs> yeah. Michael, Michael Vick must have been in there, with right? Him. For eleven and a half million, man, she must have been like tied up in a dungeon somewhere. <laughs> Michael Vick he tried to drown her in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> he should have she, electrocuted her. Uh, she looked worse than some of those dogs. They picked her with one hand and slammed her on the bucket. <laughs> yeah, let's go to let's go to Kelly in Jersey. Kelly, hi guys. Hey, I just wanted to see what a uh, priest. Patrice's opinion was, I basically tried to get a job within a specific field, and I was told flat out by this guy that worked in the department, you'll never get hired because you're a girl. Now, right. is that sexual harassment? All right. What was, oh. the, what was the job, and what was the field? It was an IT job. Mm-hmm. IT job. Was mm-hmm. that sexual harassment because... Uh, what Where's is- the sexuality in that? Well, that's es- that's that, that, that's it's... gender harassment, maybe, but that ain't sexual harassment. Yeah, sexual discrimination, maybe. Yeah. Where's the sex? Really? Where's the sex? There's yeah, no har- the sex? You're not being harassed. You're being told you can't get a job because of uh, who you are. Yeah, where's discrimination? Right. Yeah, discrimination. Yes. Yes. Where's the ass pinch? Yeah, you need that. In the scenario. You need the 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 folded pointer finger, <laughs> and then the thumb, and you gotta squeeze your ass a little. Where's the hey <laughs> toots okay. wink? Right. <laughs> Toots. You're the reason, not you, because she sounds nice, but women Where's who the... think this certain way is the reason why I got to look at ugly stewardesses. <laughs> Where, what happened to coffee tea Thank and me? You. I got to look at some hag that I go, have you been working since <laughs> since the 70s? Or they just hired a mess like you with a bouffant hairdo and your married wedding ring and no sexuality Patrice, at all. 
We did a whole break uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe not even that long, on stewardesses and what they used to look like and how the airlines commercials back uh, uh, in the 70s and selling early sex. 80s selling were sex. selling their stewardesses. As coffee, of that. tea, or, or me. me. And they would go like, I'm, My Ohio Hi, Club. I'm Christine, fly me. Fly me to Florida, you know. You got it, like, baby. Fly me, and they 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 like wear little you skirts and stockings. We'll oh, oh, E Rock's got one. Well, it'll take a minute. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. and it was they'd wear little skirts. Uh, they either they'd have the big like you know, the big hairdo going yeah. and uh the big heavy eye makeup. It was and they were Maggie. supposed to look sexy. That was their job. Now it's just. Like you said, older women, it's, and which it's not you know, even older, sexy because I can get with a milf thing. I yeah, could, sure. But it's the, it's just sterile, like everything else. It's yeah. like you know, you want your apple juice or you want your bloody mary, and then it's like yeah. I'm gonna, and then it's like I'm going to the bathroom, and then the pilot decides to go, and it's just some ugly woman putting. They got the thing now where the. The ugly stewardess protects the pilot now. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, you can't piss because the pilot is pissing. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where are the sexy stews? Here's an example. This is Fly Maggie. We got it? Yeah. All right, here we go. Listen to this, Patrice. They were just selling sex. I'm Maggie. Fly me to New York. You love my two seven forty seven to Kennedy. Fly me. Fly Maggie. Fly you know what fly is. Uh, I, wait, my, my, my two 47s, my seven baby. Sevens, and fly my hairy Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it right there. It stays on the air. Very good. My two 747s. <laughs> Why does it have to That's be two? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. Do have, Why do you have to mention two? Fly two seven forty sevens. What happened? Yeah. To that? Fly. Equals- I want you to land your L ten eleven in my landing strip. Right. It's right between these two mountains. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous approach, now but once you land, it'll feel so good. Now, now it's like, hi, I'm Ethel. Uh, we might be late, <laughs> so get there early because the air is messing up for everybody. Goodbye. Take your seats, please. We're on an active taxiway. Yeah. All right. Where's, Where's Maggie? Maggie and her Where's two seven forty seven? And we all know what fly means. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a. Come on and fly me. But Believe me, we know wrong? it starts with the same letter. Yeah, it's why another F word. Why is that wrong? Because why is it wrong when there's some seat? It's that it's integrity. Some women yeah. should have integrity. No, why it's some wrong. Some women shouldn't. Some no, don't. No, why it's wrong? Because yeah. we allowed them to vote. <laughs> Is that where yes. where it all went bad? Uh, it all went bad. <laughs> I think the uh, women's movement, the women's movement, the the women's lib thing that we all laughed at with the bra burning and stuff, uh, actually got some momentum, and uh, uh, people caved in to the point where Not people say that's the wrong word. Who caved in? Men. Men. Not people. Because why why aren't there young sexy stewardesses now? Because they know if they hire them, they're going to not hire an older woman that is then going to turn around and sue them for not hiring them. But they should. Look, uh, uh, here's the thing. Here's the deal I make. The uh, old lady is the head of the the plane. She's make her the, the matron. That sits there on the phone and goes, hey, everybody. The listen. madam. That's it. She, exactly. Like a little plain hoe house. Right. Where, <laughs> plain hoe house. Wait, exactly. can I say something? Yes. There's an airline that only has beautiful people working on it. Uh, it's not even a commercial. Max Jet. Max Jet. Yeah. I was in shock. Max Jet to to London, and maybe because it's an English crew. See, they Europeans. Yeah. Only beautiful people. It's 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 like See? it's like Moonraker. It's like the, Moonraker. It's, <laughs> Moon- and it's all yeah. first class. The entire plane from front to back oh, is first it's class. Beautiful, and right? It's just amazing. No ugly people at all. The Obi and Anthony podcast. <laughs> We're doing a show within a show today. Doesn't stop when we go to commercial. Nah, the pal talkers get to hear it. Yeah, the pal talkers get to hear what's going on during the commercials. That's right. It's the Opie and Anthony show, the ONA virus spreading across America. Patrice O'Neill in for Jim Norton today. Good morning. We segged right into movies during the break. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about video games, and then we went into uh, movies. Well, Jack Nicholson, his latest movie's getting, what, 18 stars? Oh, I can't wait to see that. Bro. Everyone is saying this is good. What I is it? What is it called? The, the, the Departed? Departed? yeah. 
Departed. Oh, Do you go to Rotten Scorsese. Tomatoes? I thought Rotten Tomatoes was for bad movies. No, Rotten Tomatoes basically is the... Brother Weez turned me on to this. It's the greatest uh, movie review site ever. Because okay. they take all the reviews from all the major papers in America, okay. and then they give you a nice average of uh, what the movie's going to do. Right. Because, you know, your local paper, you know, you, you might have one of these movie reviewers that's too cool for the room, so Man. you can't really feel... Or artsy, fartsy guy. So you don't know where his head's... Reviewers, right? Yeah. You don't know where his head's at. He's giving, you know, movies one star that deserve three or four, and... Right. So with Rotten Tomatoes, they take all the reviews, and then they give you one solid rating. Yeah. And Departed, for example, it has a 94% positive. 94? 94% uh, positive review on Rotten Tomatoes. That's huge, right? That's massive. It's that means huge. like one guy didn't like the movie but in America. It means, yeah, it means some, somebody or a couple of reviewers didn't like it. How, how are these guys? Nicholson, the same old, same old. Yeah, I already. don't really agree with. They gotta be one of these idiots that just I can't go along with the crowd. I can't. Maybe the guy on uh, during his regular job, he like reviews kitty porn, and there wasn't enough, uh, you <laughs> not know, enough uh, kitty porn in there. Not enough kitty porn in, in this movie for him, so he had to give it a bad review. I used to, I used to be on this one guy. I used to be on like old white guy because I was on this thing where I wanted all old white actors to disappear and move away, and. <laughs> I was really, you know, I feel sorry for now, and I want him to make a comeback. Is that damn Kevin Costner? And, oh yeah. And the Guardian got such a s s disgusting review, and it's just like I, I really feel bad for him because it's his like big comeback movie. He really is the Brett Favre of acting. He, but but in the eighties, he was and early nineties. That guy was the making done. these epic movies that a lot of people would get, like say, oh, it's too long and everything, but. Anytime they're on, I'm watching it. In the greatest I love Western that Postman. Ever made. I love Waterworld. I love, yeah. The Postman. The Postman was a great Silverado movie. Silverado was the greatest Western. I, it's the best Western I've ever seen, Silverado. And then uh, the one with Clint Eastwood. But I know you, you're The not Good, the Bad, the Ugly? And the no, ugly? none of his. Doo -doo -doo -doo, none of the spaghetti <laughs> ones. The one with Gene Hackman and uh, Morgan Freeman. Uh, Unforge Un oh, The Unforgiven. Oh. Unforgiven. Or Unforgiven, whatever. Yeah, that was a great movie. It was great, but I loved The Postman. Yeah. All those... Wait a minute, you just called me out saying I don't like Clint Eastwood? I didn't like his that fight movie. I thought you didn't like him now. as a, like a, cause I a hate Clint Eastwood now. <laughs> All right, then I hate mad about it. Unforgiven is pretty old now, bro. It's about uh, that's a, that that's at really least old. ten years old, at Nin least ninety nine, right? That's when he was still. No way. That's when you could still put Give him in the western attire, and he didn't look ridiculous. Yeah, no, it, it changed for me when he's uh, soaping up in Bridges of Madison County. Yes. Oh, yeah, I got dragged to that. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> goddamn yeah. chick flick, Bridges of Madison County. I got dragged to that piece of crap. When yes. he's out by the well, and he's got his shirt off, and he's <laughs> washing himself, and uh, what's her name there is. Uh, Meryl, Meryl Street, Street is right. in the window watching him and slowly touching her her uh, shoulders and running her hands down her body, getting all hot, and he's just a mess. He's oh, all God, like, he's old, like an old leather purse. old man. Yeah, <laughs> he his baloney boobs. What she was doing? Was, <laughs> what she was doing? She wasn't go getting off on him. She was touching her. She was, she going, was touching herself. I, I feel the same way he looks. <laughs> like oh, I got the heebie-jeebies <laughs> looking at him. I feel leathery. <laughs> Are you ready to feel old? Unforgiven? 1992. Oh, okay. Is that 92? That's an old movie now. That's an old is movie. Is that considered old? Yeah. Yeah, because Think someone about it. born then is how old? A teenager right now. 14 yeah. years old. Yeah. But no, Unforgiven I consider new. And let's get That's real. Unforgiven was an amazing Clint Eastwood movie, right? After that, it was in the line of fire. Great oh. movie. Which was a good movie. Great a, movie. A man. Perfect World. Bridges of Madison I liked County. A Perfect World. That was good. Which one was that? And that was uh, Cosner. That was Kevin Costner with the little kid. That was he, a Clint Eastwood he movie? He kidnaps the little kid. or That was a Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. Clint Eastwood's a... You can't... That was... I'll give you that. That was a good movie. All right. That's and then, amazing, man. And then you go Absolute Power, True Crime, Space Cowboys. That was awful. Blood Work, and then that freaking fight movie that everyone loved. I couldn't I, stand that, Million that Dollar made, Baby. That, that, that made me fizz. It was the most unnecessary... You shouldn't be that sad at a movie. <laughs> How much Unless more it's depressing. real. Yeah. Unless they do a movie of someone who actually... But even if it's real, it's like, uh, you know what? At least like when she dies, like put her in a robot chair or something. <laughs> but it's like for half the movie, I watch her deteriorate <laughs> into like in the bedpan stuff. It was like, yeah. why have to watch why? this? When why? is this going to turn for me? No. Then he leaves. Here's what I hate. I don't like when a character leaves a movie and at the end of the movie, it doesn't go... 
Uh, it doesn't tell you what happened to the character. With just a little. What do you line. want? The friggin' Animal House ending? Where? Yes, I want yeah. Animal. I want Bluto that Blue ending for every movie. Bluto married to- him. All right, Bluto. Yeah. All right, Become baby. Senator Blutarski. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want, the oh, Animal man, House ending. Oh, man, he went crazy in Vietnam. <laughs> the Fast Times. Yeah. The Fast, fast Times. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Spicoli yeah. spent the reward money hiring Van Halen to play at his birthday party. Is that all Jeff did? <laughs> Damn. Don't what you know they want. do? Because Hollywood has to do their Hollywood has to do their thing and be too cool, you know? How about God, this? Damn. Every movie has the Fast Times at Ridgemont High ending. After the credits, so most you, people are out of the like theater. Fast right. time at Ridgemont High. If you want to, oh, I yeah. like it. Oh yeah, I loved it. If I you want it. that type of ending, you just sit through the credits and wait, so you could be uh, then you taken get, care of. I always thought it was a little silly on a drama, like comedies. It's one thing, but in a drama, it's kind of silly to uh, put that end thing. What happens to the characters because it's fictional? You know what happens? They 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 turn back into the actors. <laughs> they went to their wonderful homes. And had wonderful meals. No, man. No. You you got to Please give me Blutarski. Senator Blutarski. You want Senator want... Blutarski taken off with the hot chick in the <laughs> oh, car? Oh, man. That's the, that, oh, that jerk. Because he beat him up early in the movie. That jerk. Good. He died in Vietnam. And D-Day, good. they yeah. don't even know where he is. Good. She yeah, got yeah, pregnant. Yeah. Good. We're about good unknown. <laughs> oh, she had a waterhead. All right. Yeah. Because I didn't like her in the movie. <laughs> oh, the virgin guy got to go out with the other. Did you know what? That's good. He deserved it. <laughs> Spider Bifida? Damn! <laughs> I was really liking her. Yeah, judge every Ryan Hole, after he splashed that man in the face with the hot coffee, what happened to Judge? <laughs> what? <laughs> he what lost a to toe in a lawnmower accident. <laughs> <laughs> Just get uh, stupid. I lo- You gotta have that, man. I, I need that. And that damn... Uh, th- that, that, that million dollar baby, dude. It... it yeah, very depressing. It just should have had a Rocky thing to it to make, but that's what it. That's where where you said the chick thing, feel like the, bad the, movie. the Madison County thing. It's Ugh. like you know, women love that. It's some some about that that women love, but guys want to see her knock out the girl that broke her neck. She 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 comes back. She drinks raw eggs. She <laughs> beats up a few girls. Gets right. them on the way to getting back the one and that then, broke her neck. And then it's you know the old Rocky Club of Lang thing. Yeah. Where yeah. you know he goes in there and just kicks some ass. Get, get the music going and get that montage going. When she lost her leg, I want to see your montage. Montage. I said when I was watching this, right? I, I got sucked into it, and I said when she lost her leg. From from infection, yeah. I go, wow. How's she gonna? Um, how's she gonna come how's back? How's she gonna come back and knock the girl out? We don't know. Well, this this story's getting good because somehow they got to figure out a way to give her a leg and get her in in the ring Man, again. This movie's been on for three hours. She gonna get a prosthetic uh, leg in the fourth hour? Ah, uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh no! And then when did you when did you start thinking? Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. This isn't gonna end well. What? What? Did the parents get the money? That's the only thing I think the parents didn't get the money. If the parents got the money, I would have sued Clint Eastwood for like <laughs> emotional. I'm not supposed to go to the movies for that. <laughs> yeah. That's something you're supposed to hear somebody tell you on the phone and you I'm go. sorry to tell you um, this. Uh, yeah. Look, I got to go, man. I- oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Clint Eastwood is working on Dirty Harry, 2007. Oh and, no! And he's playing Dirty Harry. Or no, he, stop it! Is he mentoring? He's, he cannot play that. that don't do in, this. It's he's, in pre-production. Who's the, who's the star in it? Because I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be. It's gonna be him as no the idea. mentor to some new Dirty Harry. Yeah, new yeah. Dirty Vin Harry. Vin Diesel's Dirty Harry. Look, you remind me a lot of me when I was your age. <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> Look, it's a different time and a different age, and it. Is it? Wait and minute. it's gonna be yeah, like pops. Yeah, I get it. All right, old man. This is how we do it today. In some Fast and the Furious car. Hey, <laughs> hey, slow down. I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, we know. Remember Cullis? It's like, hey, the the, the, the cow. The, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Dude. <laughs> Yo, Pac-Man. I just happen to have this in front of me today. Uh, Clint Eastwood's greatest movie ever. Which one? Play Misty for me. Play Misty for me. This was I horrible. Oh this was a God. TV movie from the 70s uh, Play where Misty for he me. plays a disc jockey. In this old, I guess it was a, a lighthouse or something. This they had was turned a t- into this a, was a TV film, TV movie. A lot of so big celebrities did TV movies back a in the old days. Good too. Sybil it was, was like, a TV movie. Remember, yeah, remember the ABC Sunday Night Movie starring, and it was like a big event. Da, 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 da. 
Uh, they don't and do that Brian now. Brian Dennehy was the number one guy on the um, yeah. cast list. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Dennehy, Joyce DeWitt, in <laughs> Love Stole Turns my to child. Tragedy. <laughs> In a lifetime exclusive starring Marky Post. <laughs> and the mother from Family Ties. <laughs> the mother from... <laughs> and, listen, and Joe from The Facts of from Life. From The Facts of Life. <laughs> After losing her breast to breast cancer, she thinks she found the perfect man. <laughs> but he turns into a nightmare. So he's like... Starring uh, Barbara Streisand, <laughs> husband. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so he's the perfect guy until halfway through the movie where he's like, just out of nowhere, tells her, shut up, and smacks her in the face. She goes, oh, I didn't know he was abusive. <laughs> oh. And then he just turns into some homicidal maniac, and she's got to kill him. And then it ends in the courtroom with her getting acquitted. Yeah. Uh, all the oh, burning. Farrah Fawcett was good uh, for that. The that was the first bed. one, the burning bed. Burning bed. Where she burnt the husband up in the bed. In the bed. That was like a true story or something. <laughs> she's announcing that she has cancer today, by the way. And yes. She- she wants everyone to She wish. held a press conference to tell the press to leave her alone. Yeah, she had a press conference to tell the press to leave her alone oh, through wow. this difficult yeah. time. I think, she's got the, I think she's got the poop cancer. No, does she, the colon? I'm not sure. Oh, Ow. What kind of uh, cancer is... Uh, what has she got? ...is Farrah fighting? Poopy cancer? <laughs> Jesus. If you got the poopy cancer? <laughs> it's not... Come on, man. You, I love your medical <laughs> jargon there, Look at, man. Don't you... Don't betray somebody that you know you pleasured yourself to when she was young and hot, man. That, that, that poster? Some, come on, man. That everyone had I, on the wall? I liked her... Uh, Even Tony Manero had that poster on his wall. <laughs> come on, man. Don't... Nah, uh, I liked her you, replacement, actually. Uh, Cheryl Ladd? Cheryl Ladd yeah, was... Cheryl back Ladd, in the, day, man. in the Charlie's Angels days... Was unbelievable, Red, yeah. Ridiculous. But then they got that that uh, <laughs> Terry Hatch Hatcher. What was no, no no the other one? Not Terry. Hatcher. No, not Terry Hatcher. It was something Hatch. Ugh. Some other blonde bimbo. Like I'm supposed to remember the goddamn oh, yeah. name. It's been thirty years. <laughs> like the starring the mother the from Growing Pains. <laughs> you guys want to hear? <laughs> you, you guys want to hear uh, Clint Eastwood? It, it was a love she thought would last forever. <laughs> Little did she know he <laughs> held a secret. There was a sinister side There's to always, Alan Thicke. Oh, any time any time it's anything with a penis, it's bad in a Lifetime movie. <laughs> Alan Thicke. Alan Thicke. You guys want to hear Clint Eastwood as a DJ? Yeah, let's do, do, do this. This is play Misty for me. <laughs> TV movie back in the seventies when they were really big. I can't. Are you sure this is a TV movie? Well, Absolutely. Someone is saying that it was in the movie theater. No, I think it, it was in the wasn't. movie theater. I, I'm I will you. bet any amount of money right now. Play Misty for me. TV movie. Go to IMDb Stop it. and we will internet movie database. Solve this. If this bill hangs up, I'll hunt him down. All right, hold on, Bill. We'll we'll find out. Hold but, on, Bill. Well, the movie is uh, Clint Eastwood. He's a he's a DJ and uh, <laughs> yeah. Carmel, I guess. Yeah, Carmel. A little radio station mayor. in the middle of nowhere, and he had to write his poems for his radio show. His radio show. He had to feel the music. He had to pick out his music, and then he had to play poems that he wanted to play in between tunes. That's what it was his game. And then he had Who a, would listen to that drivel? And then he had uh, the stalker that all she wanted to hear was play Misty. Yeah, play Misty play for me. Play Misty for me. And it just ends up with her running into the studio or his house with a knife trying to kill him. Oh, yeah. And all she'd say was, play Misty for me. And at first it was like, all right, what's your name? <laughs> all right, here's, uh, uh, here's Clint Eastwood on the radio. Taking requests. <laughs> Here he is. Uh... Two for Tuesday. <laughs> Here in the lighthouse. Here he is reciting one of his poems. Poems. <laughs> then they've destroyed the roads of wonder, and their cities squat like black toads. It sucks. In the orchards of life, nothing is clean or real or as a girl. That's the PD Make to, to hotline him. Or be a man with. This is Dave Garver with a little verse, a little talk, and five hours of music to be very, very nice to each other. Bye. 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 Uh, Clint, yeah, yeah. Um, look, we're going to talk. We, can you bring in an air check into my office? Because we really got to go over this. You stink as a jock. <laughs> yeah, but he ends up throwing her off the cliff in the end of the movie. Yeah, that was pretty cool, but he, he's uh, the worst disc jockey ever. Hey, Opie, the Dirty Harry thing you're looking at on IMDb is the video game uh, Clint Eastwood is going to be in. Oh, he's doing a voiceover for it? I thought it was in the movie section. Oh, okay. Of IMDb. I'm sorry about oh, it's that. Oh, it's a video game. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Usually Here, you'll just see a VO for video, voiceover. Here, here's the broad calling in. To Clint Eastwood as he does his radio show. 
Then they've destroyed the roads of one. That sounds like my poem again. Squat like black toad. <laughs> I'm being redundant. Sorry, sorry. It's a twofer, I told you. <laughs> Caramel, Dave Garner speaking. Hello. Hi, what'll it be? Play Misty for me. Misty, huh? We have that right on the play rack. Thanks for calling. <laughs> That's his request. Opie, push your fart button for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do see, the thing when the guy's choking and doing something. See, this is uh, what DJs did before Howard uh, showed us all what to do. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> you dick. Yeah. Hoo -hoo. We'll more I invented poetry. Just... <laughs> hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. I'm going out to the Hamptons. Robin. Hoo -hoo -hoo. They're ripping me off. <laughs> Men are ruining the world and black toads are coming. But I invented all that. Radio was nothing before me. I'm going to satellite. Ooh. Radio is all about just reading poems. I have five million Before listeners. I came along. Robin. Now I have to have my girlfriend fall down at Madison Square Garden so they talk about me in the paper. Ooh. Oh, what'd you do? What was the last who you did? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, here's more Clint Eastwood on the radio. We'll have more smooth sounds in just one minute. At first, at 10 minutes to the hour, we're broadcasting from KRML in the Carmel Rancho Shopping Center, home of the Buccaneer, the Man's Boutique. <laughs> the man's but he's doing commercial reads. Cheryl Teagues was replaced by Shelly Hack. Shelly Hack. Thank you, Ken. I'm long she out. was wow. horrid. Thank you, Ken. And here's one more Clint Eastwood uh, thing on the radio. And now we have a pretty one for lonely lovers on a cool, cool night. It's the great Errol Garner classic, Misty. And this one is especially for Evelyn. Oh, boy. He acknowledges Evelyn. You want to hear Evelyn. You want to hear Evelyn? Even though Clint Eastwood was just reading poems on the radio, he <coughs> was making enough money to have a maid. And this is what Evelyn did to the black maid. <laughs> of course they couldn't swear, but they could kill a black woman to death. They, wow. They could stab For a while. Her. They could stab a black woman until she really died. I need a Negro woman <laughs> for my movie. <laughs> All right, cut. You're not screaming hard enough, Negro. <laughs> yeah, he directed this movie. Uh, let's see. I don't think they should have at least two directors when black people in movies. It was his first directorial. <laughs> it was his first movie he directed. Uh, finished shooting four days ahead of schedule and fifty thousand dollars under budget. Oh, look why at that. is that? Film so completed in twenty-one days. Uh, I don't know. I, it says nothing about the movies, but if it was in the movie, what is this? In theaters in seventy-one, <laughs> made ten million six hundred thousand dollars. To, to, like up till when? Yesterday at Blockbuster? I don't believe it. Still not agreeing. And uh, cut, Patrice. We need you to scream better than that. Can she say, Mammy, don't stab me, <laughs> Mammy? <laughs> and stop blinking. <laughs> we need your eyes buggy. I'm new at this directing stuff, and it's throwing the lighting off. <laughs> Every time you open cut. those big Negro eyes. Listen, I'm not going to blame anybody, but... The niglet <laughs> won't stop screaming correctly. <laughs> how can white people direct? How can Steven Spielberg direct so many slave movies? I don't know. Cut. They seem to like it. Lordy Jesus, cut. Uh, look, come on, let me talk to you. I've directed Jaws, Duel. I've done a lot of things. I know the way Negroes supposed to scream. Now, you go, Lordy. Uh, Lordy. Because that's what they said back then. I did the research. L-A-W-D-E-E. L-O-O-D-U. Black <laughs> Lordy, people. Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> black people have no problem with Spielberg making black movies. But Spike Lee's got problems with white people making certain, like, black theme movies. Like, like some... Why, when, when why Malcolm, shouldn't you... Wait a minute. When could, Malcolm could X Spike came Lee about... Spike Lee had made Schindler's List? I could think Schindler's he, List have been a Spike Lee joint? I think he could have. 
But I think it would have been completely different, different take on it, different feel. Oh, Hitler, you better not put me in there. But let me tell you something. Neither Steven Spielberg nor Spike Lee were either slaves or in the Holocaust. Which, so I don't... I, so, but who who should... Okay, if, if who's more qualified to make a movie about Italian family life, me or you? All right, but I'm in an Italian family. But th- these enough. guys were never in the Holocaust. You could do as much research about the Holocaust, and I don't care what color you are, you're going to be able to make a film about it based on what you research. But black people innately know what black people did because it's, it's passed through... Like be, certain behaviors pass through black folks. You think it's in your, the genetic in your, in not your genetics, genes? Genetics, but when you was a slave, somebody else. When the last slave was not a slave no more, he was still slavey enough, <laughs> slavey slavey enough. to talk to <laughs> right, the listen. dude that's not a slave. The next guy. All right, listen, we got to take a break. Well, Spike <laughs> Lee is more slavey <laughs> than, yeah, because the Jews were slaves too. <laughs> we can't. So Spielberg's not as slavey, even though. <laughs> <laughs> we can't start this now. Yeah, we got to go to break. Mill we have to take a break. That you Brenna knew what an Egyptian was. <laughs> we have to take a break. This is this is good for after the break. Because this is another forty minutes. <laughs> Slavey enough. They're gonna kill us down the hall. It's All the right. ONA virus spreading across America. We got Patrice O'Neill yeah. in studio today. The Obi Anthony Podcast. The Obi Anthony Podcast continues. <laughs> Oh, I is is exactly like fucking Braveheart. There's the major, <laughs> there's the major Mel Gibson place. Yeah, but then you gotta run through the rest of the country. You're running through the mountains to get the Skaguga clan to join you <laughs> in society. Yeah. These motherfuckers yeah, the trees are running. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> and, and I've been to those places. And 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 and, and, and cosmopolitan white people. There's yeah. only about five cities in this country. <laughs> New York, Philadelphia, Boston, uh 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 uh, Washington D.C., which is not really a city. Say Atlanta. Chicago, mm. Atlanta, Detroit. No, not Detroit. San Francisco <laughs> and Vegas, mm. and, uh, 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 Nevada, and only because Vegas is in it. Now I'm a fan of a couple of cities. Now there's going to be well, what about? I've been there, man. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> should should have to every a lot of these places should have to re like sign up to be <laughs> part of the country. what's wrong with us going down to 42 states <laughs> <laughs> why the uh, fuck do we get does to take south their... <laughs> and north dakota get to be anything do we get to take over their state though yeah, or does we it just, just stay there we as a black swallow hole? it up. We just, we just swallow, swallow it up, okay. up to the next. Illinois can swallow up some and other make towns it Illinois. and make a mega town. <laughs> yes. that, and they follow the lead hey. from New York and fucking Los Angeles and San Francisco. Hey, until there's no more of that dead bullshit that, in the middle. All, those ridiculous human beings, all, those drones the, that walk around the middle of the country. Off the top of your head, what state should get bigger and what state should get smaller? The uh, bigger should New absent. York? L- ready? Yeah. New England should be called Boston. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that takes Vermont, New, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island gets swallowed up by Boston. And, and, and not Massachusetts only this, gets swallowed up. Fuck the states. <laughs> right. This this should be New, New, Connecticut and Jersey should be called New York. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh should be called Philadelphia. The entire Pennsylvania so, so you, should be called Philadelphiaville. You just took care of the Northeast really quickly. All right, God now work down damn. the coast. Uh, Holy shit! The rest of the Northeast, Delaware. I mean, yeah, uh, the rest gone. of the East Coast, uh, Maryland, Baltimore, Baltimore should be called. I, Baltimore should be called, that whole area should be called Washington, D.C. town. You throw Virginia <laughs> right. in there? Uh, Florida, Florida should be called Miami. <laughs> yes. That is it. Spread Miami as far, make beaches, do whatever you need to do, but make that entire, uh, North Carolina can stay. There, there's it's something 
That yeah. should be Florida. there. So but there's no but South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> so we get so South there's Carolina. No driving. North Carolina. All right, that's an easy one. So if one. you're driving cross country, yeah. you're constantly in some cool. You're hit. in a place. Things are going not, on. You're, Shit. D- you're not yeah. going to some weird. What the, about the weird middle of the country? That's how what do, I'm saying. That? That? But, but just, you have just, to. I think that makes Chicago. Mm-hmm. The, the West Coast, the entire Midwest. The entire Midwest is just Chicago. Okay, so Indiana. If you're, in, if you're in Tennessee, you're in Chicago. Yes, Texas stays Texas. Kansas. Chicago. Can- Kansas is Chicago. <laughs> Any town you can't fly to in a big plane can't get to Kansas City in a big plane. You're not a fucking town. Te- you're not. You Chicago. Connecting flight means connecting flight international. Who the fuck? Nebraska don't get to say they have an international airport, nigga. Because <laughs> fucking Canadian planes land there. Suck a dick, man. What about like what about like Montana, Wyoming? My, they, you know who gets them? Yeah. You share it between Oregon mm-hmm. and and Washington. You you Washington because Seattle's real. Yeah. And Portland is real. Right. They swallow up that entire Wyoming, South Dakota, Idaho, all of that nonsense. All that where shit. They get swallowed the fuck up. And, Den- okay, Denver. Denver Denver stays. Denver's a major and town. Denver sucks up the four corners, all that now shit. Now, what's next to Denver? Yeah, know. Denver's got fucking uh, uh, Utah. Uh, Colorado has Utah next to it. And then uh, I think a little piece of uh, Utah New- of Co- Denver gets so Denver Utah becomes Denverville Salt Lake City even like that's gone <laughs> de- de- it's now de- Denver no <laughs> no <laughs> Nebraska too yeah Nebraska come on man for, I'm, I'm dead ass up. now I know you're from there but I don't defend Boston I'm from Boston I don't fucking get ultra defensive it it, 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 it but these these places Maine Arizona Maine and New Hampshire Arizona wait a minute wait a minute you know it takes. Only four hours to drive through every state in New England. <laughs> Eat ass. Why would Rhode Island waste our time being a state? You could get through that in an hour. I could understand you two hundred fifty doing it in an years ago, maybe, yeah. but not now. You can cut through <laughs> Connecticut to get to New. You can completely avoid Rhode Island for your just, entire life. When people were riding horses, it made sense because you right. know it took a while. But with now with cars and planes, why fucking small states? Fuck you, fuck you, and your I, I, and your like local. What do they call that shit? Your 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 local regional uh, re- regional yes. fucking regional nonsense. Thinking. So the Super Bowl mm. would just be just great. We ju- that's it. <laughs> We're giant. We need to stop this bullshit. Giant states, but giant you know, cities. I got, I got one more states. You cities, yeah. You got to handle Texas. Texas, Texas is Texas oh, is what, what, stays because Dallas no, is a Texas mother, stays, but, but no, what Texas. Is he, what does it grab? What does it grab? What's, an, what's Oh my God! Because Houston, Oklahoma, Dallas, there. San Antonio. D- New Mexico. It's got to grab New Mexico. Fucking a. And That's Arizona. Texas, Arizona, Texas Arizona gets becomes, New Mexico. Arizona becomes L.A. Arizona is now Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Um, Reno can be San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, 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 Texas gets everything <laughs> that it connects to around it. Right. Okay. To take a I'm couple, to questions. take some pressure off of Chicago. Right, being Chicago with a whole and, Midwest and Denver. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Texas so, can this, take this a lot works. of things. And, and my this final question: How many states we go down? That, that's that how I don't have a. a it would be about. Five, six states. Good. <laughs> Good. That's about it. What about Hawaii and Alaska? Hawaii states. Just cities. Alaska can fucking go. Alaska. Alaska. Why? Canada or Russia. Get out of here. Kenny, we can sell them that. Oh, Kenny. I don't want to break up the funny, but there, there is a National Geographic like special about this, uh-huh. and, like how the states got developed and why the borders are like why they are. Really? Yeah, like... Like, I fell asleep watching it. That's how good it is. <laughs> of course you did. But it's like, like the Erie Canal. Your TV fell asleep watching you. <laughs> you know, like big cities built up commerce, you know, because like in the old days, they could just like go down like rivers and stuff. And, well, and that's so why... are, you, are you supporting that we changed this, what we did back then? No, no. I'm just saying like people back then was fucked up. Right, that's why that fucking... yeah. it's based pretty much on geography yeah. and what people it's had to do to, get, yeah. and all that to get through rivers and over I... mountains and things like that. All right, uh, Danny kept track. So you got the United States of Patrice. You got New York, Boston, Philadelphiaville, 
Washington, D.C. town, Miami, Chicago, Texas, Denverville, San Francisco, San Francisco. Uh, L.A. L.A. and you got uh, L.A. and Portland. Can, can I see a map, please? Because I could do this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a map because I'll tell you. Right. I'll tell you what doesn't. I've been there. God damn. It, it, it's, 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 it makes a lot of sense. It, it's, it's just like subdivisions. It's, you know, uh, it's, it's yeah, some yeah. divisions. It's time to consolidate yeah, this country. Stop this shit. Yeah, yeah. Stop this fucking shit. And then you could get rid of so many politicians because oh. then it's just you don't need a representative from every fucking little district and fucking. It'd be great. Now I see this. This Two is fantastic. Texas, Here's the state. Fuck Texas that. gets. Oh Lord, have mercy. Texas gets Louisiana, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, and Colorado. Sucked in by fucking Texas. <laughs> One big Texas. California, which would be Los Angeles, gets Nevada, Arizona, and Utah. Colorado gets sucked in by Texas. Colorado don't get because Denver. Whoa. Denver is a bad motherfucker, but you just it's just not enough. Washington and Oregon split. My Wyoming, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota gets all sucked up. Wow, so and we will call it all because we'll make Seattle be a, a uh, no, we'll make Portland be a sub a, a subdivision yeah. of Washington, of Portland. Portland, so, so uh, Portland will be now Montana, North Dakota, <laughs> South Dakota, Wyoming, and Idaho will now be called Portland. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> Now we have right, moving on. we have Chicago. Okay. Illinois will na- Chicago will be now consist of Indiana, Ohio, Iowa, and Missouri. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about Michigan we- and Wisconsin? Michigan's in there. All of that is now okay. called Chicago. Chicago. All right. New York will be Pennsylvania. No. What happened? To- Wait a minute. No, no. New York will be. Shit. Jersey. New Connecticut. York <laughs> will be New England. And Connecticut. Holy shit. Oh, no, so. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wait, start from no, the. No, wait. You got this figured out. Go to the top. Go to Maine and work your way down now. You got the Boston thing figured because out. Because New York is so important. Yes. It, Why it doesn't should, it New should York be as grab swallow, up? It should be as, as big as swallowing up. Hold on. I got it. Texas. Texas. I got it too. New I got York it. should eat Ohio and Michigan. And uh, Rhode Island and Connecticut and right. Jersey. And, and Maine, You give Boston. us Rhode Island. And let's take New Brunswick, Nova Scotia uh, as as New England and right. Boston. Yeah, you just we're take taking, that shit over. We're taking fucking parts of Canada. Yeah, you could take that shit over for Boston. No borders. I, I think this may, this may, and only because it's supposed to be a cosmopolitan city, but this <laughs> may this may fuck up everything. Boston, I put it in the same thing as Denver. The entire Massachusetts is not important enough. Ah. I say New York eats it all. Eats and all Boston, New England. Boston is a subdivision, just like well, just like Seattle is a subdivision of. I uh, know Portland is a subdivision of Seattle, but they have still. I'm Portland, but that whole shit it belongs to Professor, Seattle. Really. So now New York, Professor Patrice, what yes. happens to the Red Sox Yankees rivalry? They, they got to get together. Yeah, and, yeah. And wait, how is that going to happen? We can have. Wait a minute. We can have still have sports. I'm talking about. Th- look at. There's going to be some some shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to maybe wait a second because football, basketball, ba- all these things are old too. We should start to develop some new, more powerful sports. <laughs> <laughs> more powerful. <laughs> Like, Some fucking sports, for example, that, that where these seven motherfuckers that play ass, or whatever, yeah. it's some major shit yeah, going on. And it'll time. be wait, we can instead of eleven guys playing football, let's have thirty three <laughs> on each side. Let's <laughs> fucking how big is the field? <laughs> <laughs> Humongous, nigga. But imagine how big the one in Texas is gonna be. <laughs> we can just turn it fucking. We can turn uh, Iowa into a. Fucking a stadium. <laughs> Just for sports. Uh, All right, so New York takes everything above it and Jersey. I think Philadelphia gets some things. Philadelphia gets West Virginia. Philadelphia can have Ohio, and Philadelphia can have. That's about it. Uh, it should get Jersey, I guess. They're I guess pretty Philadelphia. Damn fucking close. And we'll Maybe go. You split Jersey in half. And we make Miami will be. Mm. Miami will be Alabama. Georgia. It will, it will be South Carolina. Mm. It will be uh, Tennessee, and North Carolina gets to survive. North Carolina will be 
part of D.C. So D.C. now will be made of Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia, and Kentucky. <laughs> that will be called Charlotte. <laughs> or no, D.C. Town. That will be D.C. Town. DC town. Yeah. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm yes. in. I like this. Yes. I, li- I like big change like that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good. <laughs> Can you imagine? This? I'm in. This actually <laughs> when do we vote on this and referendum? And we erase this shitty fucking, oh, these the, lines. All those imaginary lines have uh, to go. All Stupid. of that shit. We make new imaginary lines because we can. <laughs> and, and, it, and you know what? And we shut down all those shitty highways, those halfway. It's just mm-hmm. a big 95 Major. that shoots through a big ass a big ass 580 a big ass one and you just you fucking deal with that and you make the fucking highways 50 lanes <laughs> and and that's the infrastructure just big that's everything's got to be big 50 and lane highways 50 <laughs> lanes that would be really confusing if you had to get over to the right the united areas of america <laughs> united, united, united areas <laughs> And if Canada wants to get in it, we'll take you over and figure that shit out, too. Uh, I love it. For, you know, wow. for real, man. It's just nonsense, all these fucking... It is. These... I've never heard it put quite this way, but yeah, that would be a major change to run on. <laughs> now, you're talking change. That's a fucking change to... There you go. But Chicago... Why are we still being traditional? Yeah. Patrice, Chicago very mad on the phones. And Why? He said... Ch- it's right, Chicago no, land. Let's whole, the whole thing is let's Chicago. Find out. You get Wisconsin? Yeah, you what, dummy. He, I don't know. He lives there. John in Chicago. What, why are you mad? This makes perfect what? sense. Well, we don't want any of those other fucking shit. <laughs> you got to take them, dude. You got to take them. He doesn't want them. You think New York wants New Hampshire? No. But here's the thing. <laughs> Listen, Chicago guy. You, you are taxed with the responsibility of teaching North Dakota to be Chicago. To be better. And to be Chicago. Stop being North Dakota. Build some giant yeah, buildings and... The only, people, the only one we want is Wisconsin, so we can enslave those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. Right. What it's about going to yeah. be fucked up. What about you know, the all kind of rapes and shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, about the, what about the new slavery? If you're changing the whole fucking Subject, thing. Subjugation? Come yeah, on, what, that's just a people thing. I'm, we, not, I'm not trying to say you should go. What state do we get the new slaves from? He's just a had to. If you had to. This is if you had to. Holy shit. We're starting over and we're no. and we're making these humongous states. <laughs> might need slaves to back. Might need slaves to build the 50 lane highways. Borders are being changed. You can't bring back slavery. No, motherfucker. We finally got them. Who's going to build the 50 lane highways? What state we get the slaves from? Oh, wow. And we services. We sacrifice one state and take all our slaves from okay, there. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right you, you had to have me think for a minute. Right, which one okay, Danny, put, put that back up there. This is called a if you had to scenario. Okay, here's the situation. We need people out to of build. the new state of Seattle. Was it Portland or Seattle? Uh, Portland. Po- out of yeah. po- out of the new state of Portlandville. Right. You're right. Who's the weakest state? Who would you say is the oh, weakest shit. link state? I'm, I'm saying right away Idaho. Bam, they the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we get all our slaves from Idaho. <laughs> Idaho the slaves. Bam, build the 50 the lane highways. Uh, Super highways. And, and Texasville? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we could just get What's the one weakest state? Nah, because not enough people in Idaho. Idaho got to do the shit in okay. Portland. All right. That's Portland in- infrastructure. I got I to gotta say, mm, I'll nah, say the, he, the South's pretty fucking uh, uppity. So I'm going to say New Mexico. Will be I'm going the Texasville. Other way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Texasville will get New Mexico because that belongs to Texas. Right. Right. So they'll get their slaves from so New Mexico. So I would Mexico. say New Hampshire and Maine will be the slaves from uh, New Yorkville. Yeah. And Boston, just to get a perk, since we, we did dismiss them, yeah. they will be the um, overseers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Phillyville. Phillyville. <laughs> Phillyville will let. Um, it will be, uh, we will go, uh, Jesus, it's going to be a lot of mad motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah, I see where you're going I here. Would, I would say, I would probably say Ohio I, I was thinking will the same be thing. the slaves, Yeah, and um, they will fix Phillyville. Sorry, Cleveland. Ugh. I can't wait till this actually gets picked up yeah. and, um, and it comes to fruition. <laughs> Someone says, someone's saying you're brilliant because you could drive through the all of New Hampshire, and uh, uh, New England, excuse me, in eight hours. 
and and it takes you 14 to go across Texas. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so your it, logic is right there. It's it like 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 I might be there's off no with reason, four, but it's so short to. There's no reason why they didn't make that all one state back. It just it, it don't makes no back, sense. Back in the day, back in the day, it makes no sense to have a South and a North Dakota. It's it's it's, it's archaic. It's it's what they call draconian. Yes, logic. Draconian. It's don't it's senseless shit. Why? It's like shit that's based North on stuff and that South Dakota was forever ago. Hmm. North and South Carolina for what nonsense? Confusing. <laughs> it's like street signs that are like South. At least change South it Elm to Dakota and North Elm. Just say Dakota. Dakota. Just call it Dakota. They knock down thing. that fucking stupid wall in Germany. Jesus. <laughs> At least start easy. I just go Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Dakota. Carolina. Carolina. At least start there and mm-hmm. see how people like it. Virginia. You know. Go slow with this thing. I like it. Go slow. I know there's a lot of angry motherfuckers because they just, they just, they just they take their state yeah, pride. Yeah, they just take yeah. that shit. And, and, Sorry. And Vermont and New Hampshire looks exactly the same. One's upside down. Oh. That's it. So turn that into one. That's, that's an easy change right away. It's a nice square. Yeah, make it into a nice, nice square. square state. And Massachusetts really is a mess, other than other than Boston. Boston. I'm gonna like, tell you. How, I'll tell you how bad <laughs> Massachusetts is. You meet somebody from Massachusetts, they go, "Hey, I'm from Boston. Right? What, where? Where? Springfield." That's two and a half hours away. <laughs> Where you from? Peabody. That's not Boston, you're not motherfucker. From Boston. You're, you're from <laughs> the surrounding area. God, that's funny, man. That's so true. Stop oh, it. Oh, shit. That is so true. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, fucking. <laughs> Look how you from, can feel. You know, you can really feel you know, the anger. Because I've been to those places. But you know who's only angry about this? Who? The, 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 the fucking, people that are getting sucked the, up. Yeah, the fucking. And do you remember? Drones. Do you remember when we first started at WNEW and, and the the old jocks hated us there? Of course. And we're broadcasting like you know from New York City, and their argument with us was, "You're not from New York. You guys are Long Island <clears throat> guys." So what happened to us? Long Island's right there. Yep. But it but isn't, to them they're but, like, "You're but not. We don't live in Manhattan. Yeah, you're not. You guys are foreigners. You do now to this radio station. Well, I've been. For I'm a while, still Long but, Island. I'm not allowed to leave." I'm the king of Long Island trash now. <laughs> I can't leave. It's my kingdom. <laughs> but now it'll be all, all of that fucking borough shit. It, yeah, this yeah. is New Yorkville, man. New Yorkville. New Yorkville. I like it. Does everything have to end in Ville? No. A town. All right, good. You can you can vote on a name. I mean, I'm just I'm just I mean I can't think of everything to say. Yeah, he's just laying down the borders. Hey, yeah, Eric is saying in Miami, Texarkana. So they sort of they they're open to the idea. They're just not all in yet. Call it York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I like it. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, uh, shit. Patrice, you fucking rule. I uh, love it. Your logic is just beyond amazing. This is like fucking. Uh PBS when Patrice is in. <laughs> it's just educational broadcasting. And I get all and Lily, I get all the grief. Yes. Fat you, fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and then <laughs> and you guys got we safe get, and come to hey, work. Hey, great show today. Great show. Patrice is like, you motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I said just shitty Idaho is mad? Who's Can't gonna be. be mad? Stop. I forced right. you to pick the state for the slayer. You're right. <laughs> just grow your potatoes and yeah, shut your face. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> get it. The Open Anthony Podcast. Are they literally pulling guns out, pointing them and taking money these days? Like, what's yes, the they have preferred to. the preferred way to rob somebody? Not, no one's playing around. When I was a no kid, one's fucking around. when I was a kid, a I knife. got robbed twice. Yeah, uh, one was implied gunpoint, and one was actual gunpoint. Oh, implied was what? <clears throat> and, he did the old school. See, this in nigga the did the Texas yeah, finger see? in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and took and took his hand out. The, and took the money and put the gun <laughs> Say, man, with the finger gun, gun nigga. <laughs> but he didn't have to do much else. I wasn't fucking with him. I don't know any karate moves. I don't even know. Even if I got a motherfucker was quick enough to hold him, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would do a movie thing and just keep hitting his hand on yeah. something really hard, and maybe he'll drop it. And I'm like, get the How fuck out of here. How scary is it, though, to, to, be, to just watch that barrel of the gun as you're trying to hold it <coughs> just slowly turning toward your face no, it, I, I, like and you're trying your best to not oh, the only thing that. the only thing you get mad enough to do is is die meaning <laughs> i'm you know what i'm so mad right now i'm willing to take this gunshot so you take don't have chance. satisfaction i hate you so much for this yeah the other one i got robbed with a gun and a mm. little little small caliber. I don't know. You know, to me, to yeah, people aren't even scared of twenty twos who know guns. They think twenty twos are funny. They'll fuck you up. But they'll kill you. Whatever. Yeah. And uh, but he knew he could rob me at this point. It, this is why I'm so angry. 
quick. I'm so quick and angry because yeah. the guy had been testing me all the way the, the night. We was playing basketball. And he just some dude was around, just bumping into everybody. Holy he was just fine. You were playing the guy on the basketball. We court? was playing basketball. Yeah. Oh, what a prick! A and pickup he, game. Pickup game. And don't know the guy. Don't know the guy. He's just elbowing you the entire game. Not elbowing. He was. What the? Fuck? He was just lurk. A... He was lurking. Yeah, yeah. Where, like if I look, it's called the punk test. So oh. like it's like five phases. I bump into you. You go, hey, why? Yeah, yeah. There, this, why, why? there was enough room for me to and you to walk without <laughs> you bumping into. Me. <laughs> then it was like, a, then it's like a step on your foot. Then it's like a, oops, a hard pinch. You're like, it, man, he's doing what? recon on your. He's ass. doing recon, yeah, yeah. and by the time he decides, he's gonna make up whatever story he is. They're gonna rob you. Like they, he even made up a story. He go, yo, you, I think you was, yo, you did something to my cousin. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> but I tried. Why, why do you need an excuse? Yeah, at, at this yeah. point, if you have a gun, and I'm, I was so ashamed because <laughs> to really make it hurt. What Wait the fuck? Minute. He goes like this. He goes. He shit. goes. Hey, yo. I, and I said, uh-oh. Uh-huh. So I, uh-huh. I tried to be uh-huh. hardcore. Right away. I tried to be hardcore, but he had already given me the punk test. I failed <laughs> miserably. <laughs> Mazno. So I failed. Fa- Mazno. And so punk test. He, he failed. Why do you think Maz is a 12-degree black belt? Like, <laughs> somebody got him with the punk test when he was fucking young. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so he goes, yo. And then I, buy, I go, yo, what the, what's up, yo? <laughs> like, But he already knew. And he's like, yo, yeah. man, what the fuck you mean, what's up? I said, whoops. <laughs> I, I stuck my heart in my pocket just so you don't take that away. But I need the, my heartbeat. That <laughs> motherfucker, he he fucking, he didn't need a gun at that point, but he knew it. He already knew. Yeah. And fucking, yeah. He, he stole a, I had a, one of those break dancing. I was the first oh, motherfucker no. to have a break dancing Puma suit. It was an old oh, school. Get the if you look at him, he, Puma suit, <laughs> he took he? my... Four X tall Puma suit. <laughs> what were you wearing? I, luckily, <laughs> holy I shit. had on. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucked <laughs> up. Luckily, I had on a pair of not sexy sweatpants because it was a little cold. Uh-huh. So I had some non sexy sweatpants Underneath. under the Puma suit and a sweater under the Puma suit jacket. And he took he took my puma suit, what your pants not, and everything. He took my pants. <laughs> now what did he say? <laughs> what did he say? He said, "Yo, nigga, um, yo, you the motherfucker that fucking you? Oh, you the nigga that was fucking with my cousin, yo, yo, what the fuck? You you too big to be fucking with my cousin, nigga? Oh, I was like, no, what cousin? I was yeah, trying, trying to be hard." To be he said, shut the fuck up, nigga. And he, he just, he didn't even pull it. He showed me the G of the gun, nigga. Like, right, I don't right. It was just whatever he showed you. And I was standing there frozen, man. You so know. now, what, are you thinking he's going to take your Puma suit? No, I'm thinking. So when he says. I'm thinking. He's going to shoot you, man. No, I'm, I know he didn't think that I really did something to his stupid cousin. Right. I didn't know what he wanted. But did you just. Might have been sneakers, because I had to break dance and Puma sneakers, too. <laughs> I was dressed. I was dressed like ozone from breaking, nigga. I'm telling you. But now when I'm he sit- said, "Yo, I give want- me, yo, give me that Puma suit, yo, give me them, yo, give are me, them, give me like, a suit, yo." Are you thinking? Are you fucking shitting me? You want my clothes? No, because back then people were dying over two things: eight ball jackets, eight jackets. <laughs> But back then it was bombers. Bombers. They were yeah. dying. If you had a night, and it didn't have to be leather. If you had a bomber, a nice jacket, you get you got killed. Yeah. And uh, big radios that you would carry on your shoulder. Yeah, the big. Boom Why would boxes. you walk around that way then? <laughs> because you fucking. Because that's the way you walked around. You had to. Why would you increase your odds though? Holy what are you gonna do? That's shit! What, that's what, I, but I'm telling this you, this is my dumb world. I don't get but this. World. Black people like wolf tick. We don't like to. Be punks like I know it's dude. Look, it's not it's unexplainable, but we don't like to. So it's the dozens. It's wolf tick. It's like it's like fuck that. I'm I'm, I'm carrying doing what my I'm shit. Do. I'm, I'm, so yeah, I'm carrying. Did what you I have carry. to take your pants off in front of I everyone? I took my p- in front of him and another motherfucker. Oh, were they and laughing? Another motherfucker with him? Were they laughing? Were they rubbing it in when you were taking <laughs> them off, nigga? <laughs> when he said go around the corner, I right, get the fuck out of here. I walked around the corner. As soon as I didn't <clears throat> see him, you never seen a three hundred pound person run, run fast. That fast. As <laughs> soon as he let me go, because he could have been like, you know what? Let me just yeah, fuck this fuck guy, this motherfucker. I think he saw me. He yeah, might, you know looks I don't like, like this motherfucker. Might say so. And I ran, 
and I think I looked back and I saw them peek and they was not going to chase me because I ran fast. Holy Then I went over to my boy's shit. house because he was close. Yeah, let's get these motherfuckers. No. No? He la- he, they all laughed. They laughed. I was sitting there. You, you didn't know. pull any boys in the hood shit? I, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I fucking was punching the air. Like, what the shit? The thing about this guy, he was notorious. I didn't feel so oh, bad. God damn. He was notorious, this guy. Oh, yeah. I yeah. seen him three more times robbing three other people. Three Holy different, shit. In, day, in daylight around there. He was brazen. He, he, was, a, he was fucking a, Fuck. a public enemy, this guy. I seen him at a wrestling match <clears throat> robbing people. What, you have to I find speaking, out what, what happened to him? No, I don't. Hopefully, gun down somewhere. He's something not good. I mean, I'm sure he's, yeah. His luck was going to run out. That Sometimes man was Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't like karma works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at this point, this day back then, it was they let you live, man. They, you, yeah, you, yeah. They, you, in that situation now, they'd shoot me. They just they would shoot me just. Cause they wanted to pull that trigger, man. There's there's motherfuckers that die for Wait less. Wait till you take the Puma service off. The, can't be stitching oh, up the whole. Oh, I was dressed like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was. I thought the story was gonna Puma. end with you in boxers. Oh, if you were standing there oh, in boxers shit. and a wife beater and no shoes, <laughs> and no shoes, <laughs> no shoe, and no, no shoes and boxers, been, I would have oh, been happy. Man. So, and that was pre-diabetes, so I would have walked over glass and everything to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Cut up feet, rocks. Oh, God <laughs> damn! That's but but after that, up. it's the punk test, and it, it, it fucked me up for the rest of my life. I was I might have been thirteen, fourteen, but I was a big motherfucker. Damn. I was already in high school playing football, and and uh. And I always say, you know, don't let a motherfucker get to the next place. Yeah. Because it's, it's just in anything. Like, in, and even in business, you just go, no, I'm not going to. Right at level one. <clears throat> it's like, oh, if you, you know, just, you know, and, and like the advice you get in show business. Hey, man, just do it this way this time. And then the next time you can get mm. more. Like, no, nah, once a motherfucker, fuck you in your butt. He wants to take four more pumps. You think he's gonna take one pump? Four more. This guy bumped <laughs> into me. I should have said with one pump. <clears throat> I should have said, man, there was a lot of room, man. Whatever the fuck you trying to do, you better do it. Don't don't go put me through this shit. Oh, oh yeah, you, so that's I, like, what you like, You should have said. I would. I should have just said, yo, man, whatever the fuck you doing, do yeah. it. Because I don't have a gun, but <clears throat> don't play me. Yeah, was, yeah. was he a big guy? No, it was two of them. It was a little, this little, I don't want to say his name. I feel like saying his name, but I don't know. I'm going to say his name because I don't know if he's still a little motherfucker. But they used to rob drug dealers, too. They weren't no, wow, they just like saw my, my breakdancing Puma suit. Oh, they shit. can't be alive. Right today. when they saw that suit, they were probably like, <clears throat> I am jacking that motherfucker for his suit. Dude, I, my moms used to go out to get me some shit sometime, oh. man. I had a a big, I was, I had to be 250, 260 then. So it was a 3X at least. What the fuck was he gonna do with that? Sell it to a Sell big motherfucker. There's somebody that was breakdancing in my shit. <laughs> <laughs> he should have took the shoes too. I think he was being um. I think he was, he was being, being merciful. Nice yeah, he was mercy on you. Yeah, uh, he, <laughs> he was being benevolent. Let the little motherfucker. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Fourteen Fuck years old. Fourteen, man. This yeah. motherfucker was a Did hard you, criminal. Well, you must have been fucking <laughs> feeling just like so violated. Yeah. That must have been a violating feeling. A lot of things happened to me as a kid. A guy was in the house when I came home from school one time in the fifth grade. And my, you know, I was a latchkey kid. Mm-hmm. He swung in through the... We lived in the third floor, the top of the building. He <laughs> swung in through the window. Swung in through And was in there. Don't make it that easy for Anthony, please. <laughs> no. Don't make it that easy for him. I'm telling you the truth. It's the- make, him work, make him work for it, Patrice, will you? <laughs> Jesus. He swung through the window. And uh, he was in the house, man. I was, I was uh, 10 or something in fifth grade. And he was standing there with a knife and shit. Matter shit. of fact, I ain't gonna lie. It was a butter knife, but I was just too a knife's a knife. I was a just too nervous to, to know what right? to do. Dad. Yeah, and uh, that fucker locked me in the closet. Shit. Uh, but I had knew he was not a hardened guy because he was kind of nervous. But I was too young to even know, and yeah, I don't know. I probably yeah. was big enough to fuck him up. But was he a cracky? You think <clears throat> it was probably new little, crack. It was probably new. Do, little, uh, little desperate. So what? Mom came home and had to get, let you out of the closet. Yeah, and she was mad that she had to come home. <laughs> it was gangster. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was gangsta. mad at you. She was kind of mad that I let this little <laughs> motherfucker lock me in the closet. She said, "How many were there? It was just one." 
Like, and you fucking went in the closet. And this nigga, you know what I remember? What did they from take? That? Do you remember? I remember what he took. Yeah. My mother, when when we used to sell spices. <laughs> for school, you know, the school, back then we would sell spices. Yeah. It now be, it's candy bars. Now it's candy bars, but it used to be spices. <laughs> My mother sold enough spices for me to get a TV. Nice. He stole my no. spice TV. That, that motherfucker, motherfucker stole, stole my your... my spice prize television. That cocksucker. My mother sold enough for you to choose what you wanted in the magazine. I had my little spice. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so... This is terrible. I'm so glad shit. I gave you a gift today. <laughs> I'm so glad today's the day I gave you the gift. I cannot believe how <laughs> terrible this shit is. It's horrendous. It just, to me, <clears throat> seems so violating. It is. And that's why you, why you think I'm so mad. Like, it's just I'd be mad all that, the time. Like, you got to carry that anger with yeah, you. Yeah, because you, just go, fucking you life. just go. That's a lot of people. I got a friend that boxes now that he boxes because he's it was some things that happened to him. And he just wants to beat people up, man. <clears throat> The only thing I he remember just wants to beat you up fr from my youth. The only thing I remember that was really violating to me was uh, uh, this one kid in front of these stores used to slap box with me every so often. And I was never good at fighting or anything. I never knew how to block anything. So this this guy was just able to smack me around <clears> and shit. But it was light like taps and shit like that. And one day he was with two of his friends. And he's like, hey, give me a get over here. I was like, oh, fuck. Here comes <laughs> and he starts slap boxing. So he throws a slap at me, and I lean back, and I come back forward, and a fucking right <laughs> fist was waiting for me. Jesus. Bam! He clocked me in the eye. I went oh. down on my ass, blind in that eye. Like, it was just couldn't see. I, I grabbed my eye and just felt warm all over, blood pouring down my fucking face and i looked up enough with one eye to see him and his friends going ah, ha, 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 like laughing at me almost knocked out on my ass bleeding from my eye and i can't tell you how many years like that's to this stuck day in my head. Still, you to never this heal day, from certain things to dude. this day and, and all i wanted to do was fucking kill him. Is that the guns? And I had fantasies is about the like, guns. That's probably is that, where the guns. Is that the guns? From. That's probably where the guns. Is, is it, dude? If Gabri you Gabriel Mares. You yeah, never forget the name. The name. Oh, you no, no, and no. you think you, you grew older? But see, where I grew up, it was there was this was before gangs. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was from you know three to, to fifteen, there was no gangs. It no, was, no. It was the rough kids and the silly kids. I was a silly <laughs> motherfucker. I was funny yeah. and I played ball. And then it was the the street kids. And your whole life was trying to avoid those kids. You took a new route. You pick a route and go around the corner. <laughs> yeah, you see the didn't. motherfuckers coming. You you build your quick escape James Bond. You unpack your James Bond uh, <laughs> submarine car, nigga, and go in the lake. <laughs> and there was these motherfuckers that lived next door. Um, I know. I remember their names too. I just don't say they can't. They they caught one of my friends, man, by himself. Oh. Man, they made him do two things, and I felt bad for him to this day. They made him hold a Dixie cup so they could shoot uh, rocks with a with homemade slingshots at the Dixie Cup Fuck. as target practice, and they made him be a basketball hoop. <laughs> oh, God. So he made his arms? They made him hold his arms. So oh, your face shit. is the backboard. And, he, and they would shoot, and his, the, the, the ball would hit his face and go into the oh, into God. his arm. Oh, God. <laughs> God. That's so brutal. Oh, God damn. <laughs> and all you know is all you can do is go, man. I'm glad they didn't, they didn't catch me today. Yeah, yeah. That's it wasn't why. You. That's why this whole cyberbullying thing is just horseshit in the end. Because we all yeah, grew stop up with this. Are you telling me the guy? Are you telling me after Puma suit I shouldn't have fucking right yeah, jumped, jumped off a bridge, took a couple of sleeping pills? It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Something. you know, you know. At shit. least cyber it's horrible what happened to that kid. But, I hate. I, but, I felt bad for not, that kid, but of course yeah. it's not. But it's not an epidemic. But it's, I'll tell it's you something. Always else. been around. At least cyberbullying some form ain't of bullying leaving me with a black eye and fucking blood uh, pouring out. And someone else now has to deal with your fucking. 
<laughs> the redemption, With like you're, right. you're going to be quick to blow a fucking. <laughs> I ain't and getting, when you shoot, I ain't him, getting hit again, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you think I, I'm gonna ever get hit in my eye again, you fucking sadly mistaken. We don't have to do this, obviously, but uh, we could take phone calls for days <laughs> about how people were bullied growing up, or well, did the bullying? Y- yes, and it's, I even said some of the bullies were even bullied. I had to hit. Yeah. I had to. I, the first time I stood up for myself. <clears throat> and this is why TV is very important, by the way. <laughs> this motherfucker Your was fucking with me. Teeth. I said, I ain't taking this shit no more, man. Fuck this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I remember my man Gomez. I have to say this. Gomez, uh, this dude had did something to me the day before. He had punched me in the face. And I had thought about it all night. Could and, you tell me how old you were uh, for uh, reference? Uh, 15. 15. This is when I said. 15, I'm, you finally said, fuck I, I, this. I, 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 I want to wear my own Puma I, yeah, suit. Yeah, I, I, I more can't than a deal day. with not wearing my Puma suit ever again. Puma suit. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and this motherfucker did. I think he, he had. he had. Uh, oh, no. It was two days before we were playing basketball. And he passed me the ball. And I missed the pass. Some, but I guess, you know, you want to fight somebody anyway. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you just make up anything to fight. So we, we had a fight or something. But I, I had said, I took the high road. Like, look, man, I. I don't want to, you know, you get older, they, when you're younger, that you're a punk, older, you're like, ah, are you serious? But <clears throat> we, we, he was just like following me home. I went home and the next day on the bus, Gomez was like, yo, let me hold your bag because you got to do what you got to do. I remember Gomez, Gomez actually, this nigga, that's the nigga that said, man, you, you got no choice. Yeah, yeah, it's time. But to- I had, um, <laughs> you ever see Bad Boys with Sean Penn? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love that one. Well, and I didn't have Coke cans to put into a sip, into a um <laughs> into the pillow into case, a pillowcase. Into the pillowcase. <laughs> I put it. I put my mother had aerobic weights, and I put aerobic oh. weights in a plastic bag and took it to the bus. And I just started swinging on it with aerobic weights. Fuck. But what happened is I I went back to hit that third swing, and I really didn't get them good like I wanted to. They flew out the back of the bag, mm. and I and so I hit them twice with just an empty bag <laughs> so i just had to jump on him and just start fighting and once my fist i just wasn't a fighter when i was growing up once my fist i was physical but not just punching people did. but once my fist started hitting his face yeah i was like this is not so bad <laughs> <laughs> and he swung and hit me and we were fighting yeah and no. i go this is not so bad to get fucked up and then possibly fuck somebody else up you know, I was 300 pounds, so that couldn't have felt good to him. No. So I ever my anytime they, you know, you get hit in the eye, you see the shine, <laughs> that that big shine, and then it goes back to regular. <laughs> <laughs> or in the nose, yeah, you both yeah. eyes shine, and then go back, but then your nose is like, <laughs> and I'm like, this ain't so magic. <laughs> like, his must feel yeah. really Way bad. Worse. So that was when I was like, I don't want to deal with this no more. Mm-hmm. That was literally the last time, but I still, this motherfucker pull a gun out. I'm going to look, look, man. Take yeah, what you yeah, gotta yeah, take, yeah. but in terms of a motherfucker like balling up his fist, I used to be scared to fight. But if a motherfucker balling up his fist, you go, know, eh, yeah, I'll take a punch. I'll take a fucking punch in the face. Fuck that shit. I've never been very good at taking a punch though. But it's like to give one like, is worth taking one. It's just a glass jaw mm-hmm. <laughs> to hit a motherfucker. You knock, know it hurts. You knock right the fuck out. <laughs> if you just if you just kind of lightly hit yourself in the face, just a little harder than. Soft? Mm-hmm. That fucking hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Especially when you get older. It's just. Oh, not, now you just yeah, fucking. Just like, oh. you, you, <laughs> now you don't know. Like, That's fuck. only white trash. <laughs> right. You will only see white trash old guys on, on cops <laughs> in the trailer park. Just beefing. Just, yeah, motherfuckers. Just drunk and punching each other in the face, <laughs> all bloodied. Their t shirts ripped. He started talking shit about my wife and. Oh. I've never been much of a uh, a fighter. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, like you I just, got out of a lot of shit by. But being you're funny a though. But see, funny, funny people are funny. And, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you get away with it. You know, funny, but but where I'm from, funny was too much laughing, too much giggling, too mm. much. You know how I became a victim in that Puma that story? I remember. I never fucking forgot. Oh, uh, what'd you do? <laughs> I was doing an impression of Deputy Dog. Oh, oh, in the fucking hood. That guy in the hood. In that the guy hood. just oh. went like, oh, yeah. This fat oh, pussy. Oh, <laughs> and I was going, ee, 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 ee. Like, I was like, you remember, oh. Emma, we talk, we laughing about Deputy Dog. And this motherfucker was like, you just know he was like, this mm-hmm. motherfucker. You're doing Deputy Dog. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I remember that uh, shit like it was yesterday. I'm 40. Still, uh, still. I, yeah. if I had three genie wishes, nigga. <laughs> that would be one of them. One of them. <laughs> billion dollars, cure diabetes, and just and burn this nigga. <laughs>